Okay, everybody. So in this video here, we're going to simplify this kind of complicated rational expression. Uh, this is a, a complex fraction because we've got fractions within fractions. The overall division here is implying brackets around the, that numerator and the denominator. So I'm going to have to do these ones separately. So the first thing I'm going to do is, is combine the x divided by y minus the y divided by the x here. And to do that, I'm going to need a common denominator. And the common denominator in this case is simply going to be the product of the two denominators. So I'm going to include the x uh, in the numerator and denominator in the first term and the y in the numerator and denominator in the second term. So it's going to leave me with xy in the denominator, and then I can combine the two, and that'll be x squared plus y squared. Whoops, not plus. Sorry, minus. x squared minus y squared uh, in the numerator. Now, I recognize that immediately as a difference of squares. I'm just going to kind of log that away. Uh, in the denominator, again, I'm going to have to come up with a common denominator. It's the same thing. I'm going to put an x there and an x there, a y there and a y there. And when I do that, I am going to get xy in the denominator. And then this will become x plus y in the numerator. Okay, so now I've combined those those fractions together. Now we can look at the overall expression. So I've got a fraction divided by a fraction, so I know that that means I can rewrite this as a product as long as I reciprocate the divisor. So there we go. So I know that that second expression there is equivalent to this, this third one. Okay, now I can see a little bit of canceling is going to happen here, but before I get into that, I want to go back to that difference of squares factoring that I noticed. So that x squared minus y squared is the same as x minus y, x plus y, all over xy. And then over here, I've got this xy over x plus y. And now here we go. This x plus y together uh, as a factor is going to cancel with this one right here. And then the x is going to cancel with the x. The y will cancel with the y. Now, again, when I say canceling, I mean they're going to become 1. Okay? And all we're going to be left with here, the only thing that survived was this expression x minus y. However, what we need to do is we need to state some of the restrictions because as soon as we start canceling things here, um, we can cancel them. And the, the, that second last expression is equivalent to the last one as long as I recognize or identify that there were some restrictions in that second last step that I no longer see in my very last step. For example, it is not clear to me that x can't equal 0, so I have to state it now. It is not clear to me in this last step that y couldn't equal 0, and so now I have to state it. And then additionally, I've got up here, I'll just write it up here, x plus y can't equal 0 which I'll take to mean that x, y cannot equal negative x. And we'll put that here. And I have to state those in order for the final expression to be equivalent to the one above it. The one above it, I can see those restrictions right there by looking at it. In the last expression, I can't. Okay, they're not obvious anymore. 